I've got a free play in the Big East tonight. I'll let you know which side I'm taking and why here in just a moment. Hi, everyone. It's Max Newberry, wagertalk.com. Back here on Wager Talk TV, we're breaking down some Big East hoops tonight between Georgetown and Xavier. This one tipping off at 5.30 p.m. Central Time on FSN1. Xavier, 12.5 point favorites with a total set at 149. Georgetown entering this one 1-5 one in Big East play with their sole win against DePaul. So struggling. Ed Cooley really struggling in his Georgetown first year here at Georgetown. Xavier coming in at 3-3 three three in Big East play. A uh, couple points away, though, from being 5-1 and one, tied with Creighton and Seton Hall atop those Big East standings. They had a four-point loss to UConn and a one-point loss to Nova. Definitely games they could have won, so something to think about there. Please, guys, make sure you're visiting the wagertalk.com live odds screen to make sure you're getting me the best available number. I've seen 12 and a half, so I've seen 13s, and I've seen 13 and a half floating out there for Xavier or if you want to go Georgetown. So make sure you're getting the best available number. Take a look at our live odds screen there at wagertalk.com. Georgetown, 7 and 10 ATS, 3 and 3 ATS in conference play. Xavier, 11 and 6 ATS and 4 and 2 in ATS in conference play, covering by about an average of 7 points a game. So, my power ratings, guys, have this one Xavier 18 point favorites. So, I really feel like this line's a little light. Uh, Xavier's played the 58th hardest non conference schedule, the fourth toughest overall schedule. Uh, they've had some big home wins by, by double digits. They're. Uh, Big wins, so in some home wins, they're winning by about an average of 16.71 points a game. Some of those wins, key wins, have come against Butler, Cincinnati, um, Seton Hall. So they're getting big wins, they're playing quality opponents, and they're getting into that that double-digit win mark. Uh, I I just really love Xavier here, guys. Um, Georgetown has played the 337th worst non-conference schedule, and some of those away losses they've lost by an average of about 16 points a game. Uh, some of those losses to Rutgers, Butler, Marquette, UConn, uh, so very similar opponents to Xavier. Uh, I, I just really like them here. So, Xavier, why do we like them? Xavier coming in with a top 25 defense, right? Uh, they really guard the three well, which, which is key against Georgetown. Georgetown shoots the ball at about a top 70 rate in terms of three-point field goals to field goal attempts, and they're scoring at a top 70 rate by way of the three ball. So Georgetown really reliant um, on the three. Xavier can guard it really well. Defensively, Georgetown ranking 275th overall. So you look at their non-conference schedule, their overall schedule, 337th worst non-conference schedule, and you have a defense rated 275th overall. I I mean, they've played teams like LeMoyne, Holy Cross, Mount St. Mary's, American, Jackson State, Merrimack, Coppin State, DePaul, teams like that, and you're coming in with a defense rated 275th overall. Well, Xavier, they've only played two other teams outside the top 180 in defense. In those games, they won pretty handily by 23 and 14. So um, Georgetown, defensively, they're not going to turn you over. You're going to get offensive rebound chances, so second chance points. And when they are 285th overall when guarding inside the three-point line, uh, and they're giving you those second chance points. That's going to be a killer for a team that's, uh, that's trying to hang with a more superior team like Xavier. Georgetown 0 and 4 against teams that get offensive rebounds at a top 100 rate. Xavier inside the top 30. So uh, some big advantages here for Xavier that we really like. On top of my power ratings that happen by about 18. I just think this number's light, light guys. Xavier is a superior team in this one. They're 8 and 2 in the last 10 meetings. Uh, we're going to roll with Xavier minus 12 and a half. I'm comfortable up to 13 and a half as I've seen that number out here. Um, so if you get anywhere from 12 and a half to 13 and a half, that's the play tonight. We are 2 0 on my video plays this year. Um, so make sure uh, you catch this one with me. Uh, you can visit wt.buzz mn for my free college basketball projections. I give my projected spread and total for every game on that on the day's slate. Uh, we compare my power ratings to what the Vegas has given out for a line, and we try to find those largest discrepancies 
and, and find that edge. So you can visit those, find those for free download, wt.buzz.mn. Guys, there's going to be more game previews to follow this one. Make sure you click on the next video. I love when you comment, like, or subscribe. I love engagement. I don't want you guys to miss out on the other great videos from the other great handicappers here at wagertalk.com. Best of luck, and let me know what you're playing this weekend.